So how do you know if you have avascular necrosis or AVN? And why this video? Because number of AVN patients have increased exponentially after the COVID pandemic. So if you have hip pain, which is bothering you, which is restricting your daily activities, your walking ability, and that pain could be in the groin area, in the buttock area, or anywhere in the hip region. Many patients of AVN come to us with pain in the knee. Their primary complaint is pain in the knee because the hip pain can get referred to the knee. So if you are experiencing that pain and it increases with activity, like if you go for a morning walk or if you go out with your friends and you think that your hip pain increases, then it should raise a suspicion and you should immediately see a doctor. The biggest mistake people do is to think that I have pulled my muscle or it is a hip flexor pain or some such problem and they continue to treat it at home by taking pain medications. But when the pain is coming back in spite of taking pain medications, then you must not wait. You know why? Because if we diagnose your AVN in the early stage, then we can treat it medically. When you visit your doctor, there are certain things which we pick from the clinical history. I'll definitely ask you, do you drink excessive alcohol? You know, excessive alcohol can actually ruin your hip. A lot of people, a lot of youngsters consume alcohol on a regular basis and sometimes a poor quality alcohol as well. And that can have direct bearing on to your hip ball or your hip joint. Alcohol is one of the biggest causes of avascular necrosis of hip joint. So if in my history I get to know that you consume alcohol or if in my history I come to know that you have taken steroids for anything which could be related to any disease which you have if it was given to you because of COVID or you consumed it because you wanted to gain weight in the gym. Yes, people do it. They take steroids to gain weight and then they land up with avascular necrosis. So just by clinical history, I know that you probably have AVN and then we ask patients to do x-rays of the hip and if required then MRI of the hip and that's how we diagnose and that's how we know that you have avascular necrosis and then the treatment is started according to the stage of avascular necrosis and I'll be covering each and every aspect of avascular necrosis in this series of videos. Watch out for my next video and you're going to get full information on AVN of hip, how to diagnose, how to treat, what are the outcomes, what is the best treatment for you and all such questions. Thank you so much for watching.